Oh, dude. <laughs> so, the last video, um, I'm gonna keep it in. I deleted this car back. What's up? It's Brian. How's your screenplay coming? Let's just say I need to work out some aggression. Wanna tear up Figueroa? My beats are itching to race. Later, tough guy. Um, I forgot to... Oh, no, I deleted the car. So, I turned off the game and I reopened it. Now we're here, so I have the car back. I just need to go race Annie. And it's a hard race, so. Maybe I can upgrade this car a little bit so I can. If it goes any higher, it's going to be a B class. I have to have a C class. But at least I got nuts, so. Yeah. What's up? This is Chung Hee. You up for some racing? Some of my friends are starting up a race series. Sounds like a plan, man. So, yeah, I think it's he, race Chung Hee and. Trying Andy. hard to keep out of trouble. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pause the game. Um, I'm gonna cut all this out real quick. Uh, be back. Alright, I'm back. Ah! I didn't put any special mods on this car. Dang it. I guess what I'll do, I'll just go to Carol's Garage over there in Santa Monica. So, I really would like for them to come out with another Midnight Club, <clears throat> whether it's in Los Angeles or Miami or anywhere else. It don't really matter to me. But I started to think, these are real life cars. These are actual cars that they had to pay money, or even some of the cars even like said, "Hey, can can we have our car in your game?" Um, not only that, they also have to buy it. Um, rights to be able to use the actual location because like Los Angeles you, 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 I believe you had to sign a contract or pay to be able to use that um, so and I, I get those are like a hundred multi-million dollar company I'm always thought they were multi-billion dollar but I think they lost money over the years um, but they're like I don't know, I think it's like 800 million they make a year or some, or some shit like that. Um, if the numbers are accurate, that's what I looked up, um, I think like two weeks ago. So, uh, if they true, it, like, but then again, you gotta remember that they are make so much money and they're such a huge name company that even these car brands make more money than them, it doesn't matter. They're gonna charge them for more money than they, than they should but then again as a greedy company like damn near all companies are in America I mean shit, anyone would do that they'll try to get as much money as they can so the only thing I can really think of is if they basically make it like a GTA style mixed with Midnight Club so they'll use the cars in GTA right and then or and they, they'll use their names, right? And then they'll probably name it like Vice City or some shit like that. Yeah, hello. Your time at the trials downtown, that's what? Someone beat it, Vato. Oh, yeah? Looks like I'm gonna have to kick some more tail then. Well, I'm feeling nice right about now. So I'm gonna kick back and cruise Grand and Broadway till you get here, tough guy. I eat the watch you. 
but like I said, as much as I truly want to have another midnight club, probably not in Los Angeles, because we already, you know, we already own Los Angeles at the end of the game. We own it, because we're like the number one racer. We already own half the fucking auto shop. Now, unless we're someone else coming into here, and then we're going to be under the wing of um, our player. I don't know what his name is. I don't think he actually has a name. But under our player, um, then I'll see that. But I think what, what it should be is you go into Miami or anywhere else. But then again, you got to realize that this game came out when street racing was very heavy, heavy. And it was such a cultural thing around America, and but you don't see that much nowadays at all. Is this a date? So there, there's so many things that basically kind of just like prevents another game like this happening. It's just um, one they may may not make a lot of money off the game. Because there's now, I mean, there, like I said, there's a lot of people that like racing, but where has the culture really gone? The culture is not here anymore. Street racing culture is not here, and it's not very populated as much as it was in the early 2000s. Um, so, I mean, you still got games like Forza, um, but. Um, you probably get maybe half of Forza's like population on Midnight Club because Rockstar's not known for making racing games I feel like they're, they're known for making Grand Theft Auto games they're known for stuff like that so being able to have a racing game compared to these racing games nowadays like Forza and uh, Tran uh, what is it uh, Gra oh no Grand Turismo I think I don't remember what it's called you're really not going to beat the market off of those two games. I really don't think. Um, you have to base off of the money that these car companies are going to uh, charge you just to use some of their cars. Not even all of their cars, just some of them. And there are just so many like factors of not gaining money and losing money into the game that I really don't think it will ever happen again unless America starts street racing again and everyone starts getting back into cars again, like how it was in the early 2000s that's the only way I see a game another midnight club coming out ever again that's truly how I see it now I may be wrong I may be right we won't know until the future comes um, I truly do wish there was another midnight club because this is one of my favorite games um, I know that they made games after this one, another racing game, but they weren't as good and they didn't look as good. So I really doubt they'll make another one. Um, but those are the only things I can think of. They do come out, they're, they're putting a lot on the line. Or two, they basically make it like a GK thing where they have their own in game name cards. And, um,. Basically, like custom looks, like how GTA 5 is. You tell mine. So it's kind of hard to determine what they could do um, for a uh, midnight club game. But, uh, Like I know they're make, I know they're working on GT6 right now, um, especially after recently all the leaks and everything. So they're working on that. Um, there's reports of a trailer coming out in October. Ooh, Group Four vehicles. I can finally purchase that bike. Oh, I can't believe it. Any available units? Twenty three one zero three. Um. What else is there? There's honestly don't even know if you guys caught anything I just said out right there, because I was talking quiet. I 
wonder if I should just like sound different it sounded like he was like one of those fucking losers on tiktok that try to deepen their voice to sound cool or i guess try to make girls like them or something i don't know i find that shit corny as hell dude vehicle driving through the palisades park no problem i'm in no rush to beat you see you at the start you're going down hard my friend oh is this where I'm supposed to get intimidated? <laughs> I also think that's another reason why all the Fast and Furious movies are kind of like outrageous now. It's because street culture, uh, racing culture is not there no more. It really isn't. Um, like how it was. So. Um, shit, when number four came out, I believe uh, Paul Walker even said that I don't think this movie is going to do good because the street culture is not there. I'm pretty sure he said that. Um, I could be wrong, but I remember it's reading something or seeing something like that. Scenario. So, um, oh, fuck, I hate driving on the beach because I always, I get so close to flipping the car. But, um,. I just, like I said, it's just, it, there's so much things going on with stuff like this, whether it comes out of movies and stuff. And honestly, I think that's the reason why, like that, that's what's going to happen if I turn too hard. Gee, it happens here, too. I even slowed down. Um, what was it? Well, I was going to say something. I was saying something. Uh... What the fuck did I hit? Okay, you're gonna get up? <laughs> what the fuck? I knew it. More chicken than a club Dude, I really hope you guys heard that. What was that? start that series because this um if I carry on winning like this I'd be retired in a year then you can focus roll. all your efforts on being a full time creep damn I do like his car I want that car that fucker swerved into me you saw that shit said this before but there was a race that I, I like why is my car damaged so badly I'm just waiting for the right moment to make my move yeah wait hold on why is my car so badly damaged there's no way that one crash did that Dude, I, just can't, I, I can't drive. I really can't. Hold on. This is the last time I'm going to start it. I just can't drive for some reason. I don't know why. You could have shaved. You look like a dumpster diver. Um. And you look like the kind of guy who answers the door when his phone rings. <laughs> what the fuck?
bullshit that one crash made that car made my car go half damage already. I refuse to believe that one little crash did that. with these insults <laughs> like none of them or well they make sense but they're just so Ow. stupid that must have hurt oh i heard that Here, last video, right? Okay, I think last video. Okay, so I don't like the end people. Um, compared to the uh, the war, or, yeah, war. I feel like I like that one more. Um, in the beginning, I didn't understand how it worked, but you have to have them in front of you. You can't just use it when they're on the left or right. They have to be in front of you. So, um, once I understood how to use it, I got better at it. Now, this one, it says that you can do it while they're all around you. But with the war, that if they're right before a turn or while they're turning, they can't move their car at all. With the EMP, I feel like they're still able to control their car. And nothing bad happens. So I don't really know how to explain it. I'm just waiting for the right moment to make my move. Hey. EMP level two. Sweet. No problem. I feel like once you get to, the, once you're in the very beginning, it's very hard to upgrade your, or level up your um, special abilities. But once you reach, uh, what is it? Once you reach level two, I feel like it's a lot more easier and a lot more faster to unlock level three than it, than it is from one to two. It's very weird how that is though, because it's very, it's like that for a lot of games, like um, uh, Red Dead example. Red Dead Online, there are rules. So, 1 to 5, it takes a long time to, and this is from experience and from what someone else told me, a friend told me. Um, it, took a, it takes a long time to go from 1 to 5, and then once you go from, um, once, you, once you hit level 5, you basically can level up to 20 like it's nothing and it was true that, that's truly how it was when i did uh bounty hunter for example uh, i feel like i it felt like it took forever to hit from one to five but once i got to level five it it felt like i was able to get to level 30 like it was no time but um uh what was it something else i was gonna say now it could honestly obviously be like maybe you gain like an x xp boost or something or what but um i was a little five or i was a little one beginning while well, my my friends were all already maxed out on all their rules when it, and they were like three times my level and everything. So, um, yeah, so that, ha uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something I forgot. So they were helping me level up. We were doing Legendary Bound, we were doing all of that stuff, and it was still taking forever. 
So, and they got on every day. We got on every day and played for hours. So, there is no reason for me to take forever. I, we just, I just don't know why I didn't. So, there has to be some type of like coding or something like that. You probably don't get as much XP as you do if you were starting it, probably. But. That's all I can remember. remember. Repair the car. Did I also upgrade the car? No. I'm not gonna even do that anyways, because I'm going to go get that other car. The dub car. Um oh, there's a perfect example of what I was talking about. Lamborghinis. To me, not, I'm not saying they all look the same, but a lot of them do look similar. So I could not tell you exactly what car I'm looking at at all. Now, I'm pretty sure I can tell you the difference between a Mercedes Lago and a, um, what, what is it called? A Galo, Galarado, I think it's called. Now, I'm pronouncing these how I remember them. I could be 100% wrong. I guarantee I am wrong, but, um, Man, I thought you were a joke, but you're getting pretty good. I watch a lot of professional wrestling on TV. Helps a man focus. <laughs> huh? I wanted to turn you on to my buddies. Racers? No, they're TV repairmen. <laughs> of course they're racers. I told them about you and they want to meet. Head to the 7-Eleven in Santa Monica. East of the mall. Oh, yeah. I didn't even put my example even further of what I was saying earlier about them making another Men in that Club. Not only were they putting brand names of cars, uh, manufacturers, they're also putting legit brand names of Jordans, of 7-Elevens, all these other like restaurants and gas stations and all these other places. Best Buy. So, I mean, just... What else is there? Now, some of these places are probably like... Zaxby's. I I've heard of that. I think I've even had it before. Perfect example. All these so places want money. Boyfriend, huh? I'm pretty sure you can't just put them in and not have anything problem with them. That guy looks stupid, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, meet you at the start. <clears throat> Oh. Stay right where you are. You're about to see something special. I didn't record it. But when you're doing that time travel in Santa Monica, if you're watching this before you get to that point in um, the thing, you can actually take that shortcut that I took, that little long path, long straight path. You could take that. And it will still count for the checkpoints. I wasn't sure if it would. Uh, I tested it on the last race until I, uh, for the car. And it counted the checkpoint so 
Um, what I did was I did hug the wall, so I was closest to the checkpoints. I don't know if that would help, or if it didn't matter, but that's what I did. But it did count, so. That's if your 13th video, or will this be, this will be 14th, right? If you're 14 videos in, you still haven't gotten to that location or even started playing the game. If you do, there you go. Or if, even if you're stuck. You can take that with okay. I'm kind of curious, do these racers have to be like right on top of me for my, for me to, for the EMP to be properly used or something? I don't know, I'm just using, I'm using EMP so I can upgrade it and get that trophy. I probably have it already. 163. <clears throat> Ooh. All right, I'm finishing my skittles, so I should have my mic muted. I had to mute the entire time. Because I hope I didn't. Split out. Honestly, being able to record this makes me happy because that means I can record a lot of other games I wanted to record but I couldn't because of how I used to record back in the day. I used to record. Oh fuck! Should have taken the other one. Or should take? Yeah. Ah. I should have taken the check. Uh, the shortcut that I'm checking right now. It's my fault. I have my seatbelt on safety first, buddy. Remember, if you're going to a street race, at least have your seatbelt on. Because you don't want to get in trouble with the law. Why is there a jump there? That's probably the dumbest location to put a jump at. Not only is it out the way, the chances are of you flying over the checkpoint and missing your turn is very likely. And you being highly screwed over. I'm gonna lose all that point. Never mind. I 
I still can't believe when I got done recording that one night. I can't believe that it was. I recorded 10 videos, dude. I record 10 videos of me straight, like, you straight up not talking. Too early. Too early, man. I'll probably do that with uh, probably some series, which, like, no commentary at all. Just me straight up playing. It would help produce a lot more videos out. Because I can play long, um, playing longer as in, like, it's not gonna get hot, and I don't have to take off anything. I don't have to turn on anything, or I, um, yeah, take off my headphones. I don't have to do none of that stuff. Um, I think that'll be the only good side to like no commentary. Other than that, not really that much other good things that would really happen. But. I wasn't paying attention, I showed you my answer. Okay, meet you at the start. I'm so in the zone, man. That's a good look you got. At least it would have been 20 years ago. Save that East Coast joke <laughs> for the East Coast, dude. It's really <clears throat> working for you out here. What the fuck was that? Oh damn! I think I've been recording for 42 minutes. <laughs> um, I forgot that I walked away. But my alarm just went up because I have I've been alarm for 30 minutes, so I know when to cut the video, um, or roughly around when to close down the video. But um, it only just recently went off. You're going to wear so. off the brake pads, there, pal. See, it doesn't even like stop their car. It's an EMP. They shouldn't have any control over their fucking car. At least the EMPs I've played in other racing games, they made it where it was like that, where you couldn't fucking use your car. And that's how I remember EMPs being used in racing games. I don't remember them being used in this. Or I like how this is. I really don't. Hit it straight away, look at my speed, and then hit the EMP. See how it See if it goes down. No, it didn't. Okay. So I guess just the visual. You're a fucking asshole. you
that's two 40 minute long videos. This one's 45. So. One of the 